Hello there, I'm Darwin and I'm your chemistry teacher and today we're going to discuss one of the important topics in chemistry and that is how to balance chemical equations using the algebraic method. Well, you might have used already the trial and error method or the inspection method in balancing chemical equations, but when you use that to longer or more complicated chemical equations, you will realize that it takes more time to deal with the balancing. That is why we need a more systematic way to deal with the balancing, and that is where the algebraic method can be used. Without much further ado, let us discuss how to use this method. Okay, so let's have here our first example, H2 plus O2, that will yield into H2O. So as we can see, the number of oxygen atoms on the reactant side is not equal to the number of atoms of oxygen on the product side. So the first step in balancing chemical equation using the algebraic method is to represent the unknown coefficients with letters. So for this example, let us use the letter coefficient A. We have B and then C. Letter A here represents the coefficient of H2 and B represents the coefficient of O2, while C represents the coefficient of H2O. The next step is to equate the number of atoms for every participating element in the reactant side to the number of atoms of the participating element in the product side. Okay, so let's start with H. So for the reactant side, we have, for H, we have 2, and then a, the letter coefficient A. This means the number of hydrogen atoms on this part is 2A. 2 times whatever be the value of A. We proceed with this part. We cannot see any hydrogen atoms here. That's why we will just leave it. Proceed with the arrow sign. We replace the arrow sign with an equal sign. Next, for the... For this part, we have 2 for hydrogen, 2 times C. Okay, this means that the number of hydrogen atoms on this part is 2 multiplied by uh, whatever be the value of C. Next, we have oxygen. We're done with the hydrogen. For oxygen, we cannot see any oxygen atoms here. That's why we will just leave it. Proceed with this part. We have 2 times the letter coefficient. We have B, 2B. We replace the arrow sign with an equal sign. And then we proceed with this molecule. We have 1, 1 oxygen times the coefficient C. So we have 1c, but to simplify the equation, we can just write c. So there we have our two equations here. First equation is 2a is equal to 2c. And the second equation is 2b is equal to 2c. So the next step after creating the equations is to pick among the letter coefficients a, b, and, a, b, and c then equate that to 1. So for this example, let us choose A. Let's say A is equal to 1. If A is equal to 1, then what will be the values of the other letter coefficients given the relationship from the two equations here? Let's use number 1. So let's rewrite that. We have 2A is equal to 2 c we know that a is equal to 1 so we just substitute that 2 times 1 that will be equal to 2 c so we have 2 is equal to 2 c divide both sides by 2 so we can have c is equal to 1 so there we have our first our second rather se second value a is equal to 1 and C is equal to 1. So the remaining unknown is letter B. So we can use equation number 2 for that. We rewrite equation number 2 as 2B 
is equal to c. Now we know that the value of c is equal to 1. So we just substitute the value to b is equal to 1. Divide both sides by 2 to b will be equal to 1 half. Okay, so we have the values of the letter coefficients a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1 half, and c is equal to 1. If the values of your letter coefficients are in fractions, you have to choose a number. You have to pick a number and multiply the letter coefficients or the values of the letter coefficients to that number so that they will become whole numbers because the numbers of the coefficients, our coefficients should be whole numbers. Okay, so let's rewrite that. A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1 half, and C is equal to 1. So I repeat, we need these uh, values to become whole numbers. We can multiply that to 2, all of them. Okay, so we have times 2, times 2, times 2. Let's see. So we have 1 times 2, we have 2, B. 1 half times 2 will be 1, and then 1 times 2 is 2. Okay, so we have whole number values already for A, B, and then C. A is equal to 2, B is equal to 1, and C is equal to 2. We can now replace these letter coefficients with their values. So we can erase A, replace that with 2. Erase B, replace that with 1. Erase C, replace that with its value as 2. Now we have 2H2 plus 1O2 that will yield into 2H2. But to simplify the equation, we don't need to write 1 here. It might confuse you. The balanced equation will be 2H2 plus O2 that will yield into 2H2. Okay, let's rewrite the chemical equation here. We have 2H2 plus O2. Okay, that will form 2H2O. Seven inventory. HO. This will be for the reactant side. And this part will be for the product side. So for H, we have 2 times 2. We have 4. For oxygen, on the reactant side, we have 2. For the product side, we have 4 hydrogen atoms. We have 2 times 2. And 2 oxygen atoms. So our equation is balanced. So that's how we balance chemical equations with algebraic method. See you in the next video for more examples.